this video, I'm going to use Unink NT to program a Motorola MPC565 chip, which has the internal flash and 1.13 just released to be able to program this device. So in the board here, these pins are power pins and ground pins. And for the development purpose, I saw this is on, but for the real usage, you probably need to have better uh, clip on it or use the some adapter here as well as the BDM connector I soldered this on and you should consider using solder this uh, jig as well so the connection of the uh, BDM here is the first pin is DO now here is DO and D oh sorry this this is DO DI and the ground pin is here and the reset pin, clock pin, uh, the S reset, so on. So we can, we can follow the diagram here. And I'm going to make the connection like so. So basically, this is how it looks like, the connection. Okay. Um, let's go to the computer. Now I will later on show how to connect the, this uh, pull-up pins here. This is Ulink MT 1.13, and I have selected the target as ECU Chrysler. So look at the configuration. It was showing um, ECU Chrysler and the, the top protocol is B, uh, MPC 550X and BDM PPC. The biggest part is internal flash is equal to one. So we have a dedicated one meg flash in the chip. And if we were connected now, let's say USB connected and then we power on we will see BDMR and let's detect it. It will say found the flash, but the EPEE -E -E or BE EPP is not high. Uh, in this work, give the one of registered here. Um, the reason for that is we need to pull up pin high for B0 EPP here. And I have uh, found a simple solution. Uh, this is a, a wire from the a telephone line and the way to do this is I can touch this pin here and use a clamp, clamp here so this make a very And this is a 150 ohm resistor. Now I clamp this side to the 3.3 volt here. Uh, you can find other power source like 2.6 volt somewhere on the board as well. But this is very simple and uh, this is give enough uh, connection here. Let's say power on. And let's detect again. You see, we detect flash and no longer have this warning here. So, yeah, I see other people using a very long pogo pins and with the very fancy acrylic to push it down. But I find this is enough. So let's do a backup here. So read the flash. And this is the data uh, in one meg file. So let's save it.
So I already make several copy of it uh, back up one dot bin and let's see if we can erase it. So initialize erase it. So let's see if we erase it. Okay, now let's put put back the back one and let's program back. So let's verify it. So all, all in all, this is quite simple, and um, I hope this Unix NT can open a door to the ECU community that they want to program the MPC 550 uh, classes, which was not able to do before. Now it's it's available.